Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. In the last tutorial I showed you guys how to make a character crouch and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to get different sounds when interacting with different objects. Now I've set out a little, I don't know, a little playground, playground for this guy. It's got a plank, well, a walkway and then a bigger walkway and then some gravel. So just lay it yours how you want. Now the layout has to be quite unique for this. Okay. Now when you default, let me reset everything actually so I can show you. Reset. Oh, don't want to reset it, sorry. Um gonna set that back to one. Back to zero. Yeah, that's fine. Uncheck these. I'll delete that, it'll be better off just doing it from scratch. Alright, first of all, I'm just going to set the layout out. I'm going to create a new cube. And this is going to be the gravel. No, this actually will be the, the wood thing I had before. Duplicate this, move it along. And just squish that down. So you can make a pathway for the gravel. It's gonna bring it close to this. Okay, that's perfect. Duplicate it one more time. Just bring the width in a bit. Rotate it so it's like the walkway. You can do whatever you like. I'm just gonna quickly make something. Okay. Alright, that's perfect. Now I'm just going to apply the texture to this quickly. Uh, wood texture. Wood floor. Uh, wood floor for the big one. And gravel for the last one. Alright. Now. If you look at the box colliders on these, they're normal and it's unchecked as a trigger. What you want to do is you want to click on component, physics and add a mesh collider to this. I'll explain in a bit why. Now I'll do that for the other two objects as well. Yeah, a mesh collider for this one as well. Here we are. Now the reason for this is because as soon as you make it a trigger, just check that for all three as well. When the character walks on these, he'll go through the mesh and we don't want that, okay? The mesh color stops that from happening. Now in the center, you have something called size. Now the Y increase it, so it's coming up like this. And just bring it up on the Y axis on the center as well. Okay, now same thing with this. Y, just bring it down slightly and push it up. There we are. That's still too small, I think. That's fine. Now the same with this. That should be okay. All right. Now, how do I want this to work? Well, basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to find out if my character is entering one of these triggers, I want a certain sound to play. So if we step in this, I want gravel. If I step on this or this, I want wood effect. So how do we do that? Well, we need to create a new script and we're going to call this let me minimize all this crap stuff because I cannot find my script folder otherwise. Okay, where is it? There we are. 
I'm just going to create a right click, new create JavaScript. I'm going to call this walk on gravel and hit enter. Double click and open this in Modern Develop. Okay, you got your main things in here. That's just that's good. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna define our variables needed. And uh, we only need one for this. So var grav bool. It's gonna be a type obviously boolean. Okay. And uh, it's gonna be false by default. Like so. And in front of var put static. Now this is because I want to call this boolean from other scripts. All right, now we don't need update at all, so we're gonna get rid of that. And instead we're gonna have on trigger with a capital T, enter with a capital E, and the O is a capital as well, by the way. Now it's gonna have one parameter inside of here, and we're gonna call this, uh, I'm just gonna give it a reasonable name thinking of something okay my head's blank that's weird I'm just gonna call it walk on gravel I know it's a bad name but I can't think of nothing I just call it gravel actually and it's going to be a collider. Save that. Now inside this, we're gonna say, actually duplicate this. And the second one, instead of enter, put exit. And leave everything else the way it is. Now inside, I'm gonna say, if open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace and close curly brace. I'm going to say if gravel dot interacts with our players collider so gravel dot collider dot game object so basically I'm just saying if the gravel the object that this is placed on this script which is the gravel floor if it hits our player and they're both interacting I want the boolean to become true and the way we check this is Obviously, I'm going to say after game object dot tag is equals equals to those speech marks and just put your player's tag in there. Now, if you don't know what that is, I'll show you, but you should know that by now. Double uh, click on your main player, and on top here, you can see tag, and inside here, these are tags. Now, if you want to add a new tag, simple, right at the bottom, add a tag, and just add a new tag, and then assign it to your player. Okay, now I've got that done. Now, as soon as that's true, I want this grav boolean to become true. So, grav bool is going to be equal to true. Okay, now I'm going to copy this if statement, paste it into the exit one as well. And I'm just going to set graph booty false. 